Your power tool's motor uses two carbon brushes to conduct electricity to the armature. They do this through the commutator. The carbon brush will wear down over time from rubbing against the rotating commutator and will need to be replaced. Warm brushes can cause excessive sparks around the commutator. Sparks can also be caused by a damaged armature, so you'll want to carefully inspect both if sparks are present. Replacing the carbon brushes is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. Before doing any work on your air compressor, it's a good idea to drain all of the air out of the tank. You can do that with the tank drain. Just open it up and let all the air drain out. I'll begin by removing the manifold cover. Next, I'll remove the hose clamp. The hose clamp will have to be cut free. Because the hose clamp has to be cut, it's not reusable. Now remove the pressure switch hose. Now remove the motor and pump assembly from the tank. Now remove the motor cover. Now I'll pull the motor and pump from the opposite housing. I'll need to disconnect the yellow pressure switch wire. Now I have access to the motor brushes, and I can go ahead and replace them. To replace the brush, I'll remove the brush wire. Then I'll pull back the brush spring, and remove the brush. I'll install the new brush so that the wire lead fits into the slot on the brush holder. And then I'll place the spring back over the brush. and reconnect the wire. Then I repeat this for the brush on the opposite side. Now I'll install the motor and pump assembly back into the housing. I'll reconnect the yellow wire. And now I can install the other half of the housing. As I do this, I need to make sure that I align the cord relief with the housing. And I'll secure it with the screws. Now watch me re-secure the motor assembly to the tank. I'll place the hose clamp over the pressure switch tube. 
Then I'll reinstall the tube onto the nipple on the manifold. I'll place the crimp clamp over the manifold nipple and secure it in place with a pair of end nip pliers. I'll finish up by reinstalling the manifold cover. And that's all it takes to install a new set of brushes in your air compressor. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.